Good evening, it's Friday, and we all know what Friday means. Happy Friday. Welcome back, you spicy legends, to another episode of Sip and Spice. So with it being Friday, we have an incredible plan. Wing Wednesday! Woo! I'm aware it's actually Friday, however, if I was going to call it anything else, it would completely ruin the aesthetic of what I'm trying to create. Therefore, I won't be able to get any more subscribers. But before we get smashed into some wings, beer time! So today, we've gone with another Tesco spesh. £2.20 in Tesco this was at the time when I purchased this a couple of weeks ago. So this is from Eagle Brewery, Banana Bread Beer. 5.2% volume. Um, it's flavoured beer. Oh, it says it's a style of a flavoured beer or lager blend. Right up my street. Um, I don't know what any of this stuff means on the back, but it says what... Um, what kind of colour and stuff it is here and everything. So, uh, I don't know, uh, ale, lager drinkers, please inform me of what that is. Colour 26.5 EBC, an EBU 22.5 EBU. The hops in this are Challenger and Styrian Goldings. Mm. Oh, it does smell like bananas, Dave. It's not been salvaged. Skip! All right, so now that we've managed to get the right head on it, we've, um, it's golden in color. The glass I'm using today is Dad's Are The Best because we're worth it. It actually smells like banana bread. That's mad, that is. I didn't think they'd be able to do that. That's crazy. Chin chin, everybody. Happy Friday. Um, let's, let's give this a go. Ah, uh, yes. With every swallow, you get, like, right at the back of your nose, you get that um, banana bread flavour. Not too strong, um, really quite light, considering. Um, I would say it's more of a lager than an ale. Um, sorry to disappoint anybody who thought this was potentially going to be an ale, but that's my fault. I've just noticed that I'm looking at me and also trying to look at the camera lens. <laughs> Okay, camera. I can't help it sometimes because I'm mixing the alcohol in and stuff. Considering I've had a cheeky shot of red stag in between that, it actually complements itself quite well. Eagle Brewery, banana bread beer. Yeah, really, really nice. Crisp, golden, not, not too overpowering. There's a subtle hint of banana loaf, banana bread, whatever you want to call it. Definitely there. I'm really, really impressed with that, to be fair. Only 5.2%. The past couple of reviews we've done have been over 6%. But, um, you know, it is Friday, so I'm sure I'll end up smashing into something else that's in the fridge. Well done, Eagle Brewery. So, for tonight's spice review, um, a very generous friend of mine by the name of Damien Swan has sent me the Psycho Sauce. No, Psycho Juice. Before we get smashing into the spice view, there's just something I really want to talk about. Uh, difficult at times to talk about, um, but I think it needs to be spoken about, and that's mental health. This is going to go out, this episode, and this bit of a plug to a um, dear friend of mine, Elliot Hennel, who unfortunately um, took his own life uh, very unexpectedly, um, which, which was really difficult to... To kind of get through but because of that that started an initiative um, that is now part of something bigger and that initiative is walk and talk for mental health um, attached to that is something called the Elliot project there is a hashtag which is hashtag the extra mile and I will look to add a, a link to Facebook Instagram Twitter that uh, Walk and Talk for Mental Health is a part of. So please get amongst that. The hashtag that I put into the video, click on that. Please show your support. Um, it's needed. Uh, we need to start talking about this more. We need to get some real support out there, certainly for veterans and, um, and also serving personnel. So thank you for that. Right then, so with it being Wing Wednesday, 
I've got chicken wings. The chicken wings that we went for tonight are a Tesco special from the deli counter. They're already cooked. They're £1.70. You get about 20 of them. We only need a few for what we're trying here tonight. Right, so the first one that we've got is, um, is habanero. Now, each one looks like it's got um, an indication to how hot it's going to be. This one's got 1x. One uh, the next one, we've got um, the red savina. Uh, so that's another one, but that's got 2x's in hotness. Next up, we've got the um, ghost, ghost pepper, and that's got three X's. Finally, and I'm really quite excited about, is the um, Trinidad scorpion pepper, which is another three X's. Why is Alexa kicking off? Okay. Alexa, stop! You set the alarm. Habanero. Mixture that we should put on. Oh, there's a few drops. I don't know how much we should put on. Right then, bottoms up. So, habanero, psycho juice hot sauce. Now, I keep getting told by my wife that I'm probably not giving it enough time or enough justice. So, we're one chicken wing down, we're about 30 seconds in, and I'm going to be honest, that's a tasty sauce. That you could add into mayonnaise. You could add it into um, anything. That's like a sprinkler sauce to me, that is. That's really, really nice. Nothing really horrendous. That's not hurting the throat, unlike what that regret sauce did last week, which was absolutely awful. Cleanse the palate. <coughs> a bit of a loud cough, that one, wasn't it? Hmm? She looks at me funny. <laughs> Chin went then. <laughs> Next up, we've got the red savina. I'm just unsure of like how much of this stuff we should be putting on. But, you know, oh, it's dripping off. So there's blatantly obvious chilies in all of these, like chili seeds and all sorts of stuff. So, you know, we've got plenty on there. We'll give this one a go. Drop loads on here. That's definitely a lot hotter than the habanero. It's peppery. Again, go well in a nice chili mayonnaise. I'd probably look at putting something like that into a, into a nice chili. But yeah, that's good. To be fair, that's the kind of one, if you really want to spice a bit of chicken wingage up, um, that's the kind of one that you just dump a whole, like half, maybe half of a bottle in. And then, um, wing it around with some chicken wings and all that kind of stuff, you know, winging it. Um, ah, I've just said winging it round. <laughs> chicken wings. <laughs> cool. <coughs> You've already told me to stop burping on camera. I'm sorry. You can't tell me you don't know anything. I'll tell you something. You're going to know them more than I'm eating the pepper. The, um, the banana bread is coming through massively on this now. Hmm? No. You have just drank from the different side that I have, haven't you? Because it was. Yeah. How much could you? Pepper sauce. It's quite nice. It's right. It tastes like. Yeah. Just tastes like banana bread. Unreal. The ghost pepper. This is taking far too long for me to open this. Can I have a shot of whiskey, dude? Please. Can you finish that one? I did finish that. I've had nothing to eat today. So the ghost pepper. I'm trying to fill. So the ghost pepper. Oh, there's a lot on there. Straight away. I know this sounds weird, but it doesn't taste real. <coughs> what a strange flavour. Um, that's not like ghost pepper that I've ever tried before. Really hot, not ice cream milk worthy, definitely not. I think I should probably put some gloves on now. So I thought I'd leave this one a little bit longer because I get keep getting told like I'm not probably not leaving the spice in my mouth for too long. So we're like three minutes in here and again, there's an escalation in the heat from what the red Savina was. But the flavor, I don't like the flavor, the flavor. 
I've had nicer tasting ghost pepper sauces than what this is. It just seemingly tastes like, um, oh, I don't know, I, I don't know. The, the burn aspect is, is there, definitely. It's a lot stronger on the front of my tongue. It's at the top of my palate, on the hard palate. I wouldn't put that in a mayonnaise. I wouldn't look at maybe adding that to any food, realistically. I'll figure out something to do with it because it's a full bottle of sauce. Not, not, not the best so far. Before I cleanse the palate, oh no. We ran out. I don't know if I'm filming it yet. <laughs> the scorpion pepper. It's kind of rough, so I'm not so crazy. Can you open that for me, please? Thank you. Um, this is, whoa, loads again. We've got loads on there. Garlic. For the hottest sauce that I think is supposed to be here, that's really surprising. That's not quite got the strength of what I expected the um, Trinidad Scorpion pepper to have. The ghost pepper is definitely a lot hotter than the Trinidad Scorpion. Um, definitely, 100%. That, that I think that might be my winning flavour. If I was to put these in order, um, for my taste, and considering how hot we've been recently, I tell you what, you're going to be surprised. Fourth place. I'm going to put the ghost. I'm going to put ghost in fourth place. If that's going to go there, oh, I bet the dog will come in to me. I'm <laughs> shouting ghost. <laughs> She'll be gutted. Really hot, um, as in a lot hotter than any of the sauces in terms of spice wise but the flavor just just wasn't very nice it tasted almost like metallic and not really any real flavor to it third place the red savina but a lot more flavorful than than definitely the um the trinidad scorpion like 100 percent loads more flavorful third place not third place i've already done third place second place habanero the, the flavour of that was, was really nice. There are kebab houses that have got stronger um, spice to their kebab sauces, but I could do loads with that. There's so many things you could do in recipes with that habanero sauce. Salsa, mayo, mayo, chicken wing sauce, salsa. <laughs> it's number one, let's get that clear, is... The Trinidad Scorpion, not the hottest sauce. The hottest sauce by a long shot in this was meant to be the third hottest as per you go, which was the ghost pepper. The Scorpion delivers everything. It delivers your spice, which is clearly more spice than habanero and red savina. The flavor of that is really nice. And again, can you, I, you could do loads of stuff with that. You could put that in a chili. You could put that in a curry. You could put it in mayo you could put it in salt <laughs> mayo, <laughs> mayo. <laughs> that's enough of that time for dave's so a really good friend of mine has sent me uh, this all right kelvin kelvin gould um dave's total insanity hot sauce or dave's gourmet total insanity hot sauce Little story behind this that um, that I've been informed by my reliable sources. So um, Kelvin allegedly used to take this sauce out on nights out, not to add to any kind of food stuff. No, no, no. Kelvin used to play pranks on people and line the rims of glasses. From what I'm hearing, um, it used to burn like a ring around people's noses and mouths. Um, Calvin, I take me off to you, mate. That's the squaddiest thing that a non squaddy could ever do. Good on you, fella. Nice one. We're gonna throw this on a chicken wing, alright? Bring in the wing! Marvellous. That smells like chili con carne. Woo! Alright, Kelvin. Um, cheers. Dave's insanity 
hot sauce. Yeah, oh goodness. <clears throat> really citrusy. Um, citrusy, definitely tastes garlic. I think this is a slow burner. Slow. It's really burning it underneath of my tongue. Uh, under there. One more of these. It's definitely more spicy than Dr. Burnium's, Burnorium's Psycho Juice Hot Sauce. Oh yeah, that's, that's, quite, that's quite naughty. That's quite naughty. Yeah. That's a stingy one. That's more stingier than anything we've had. I just don't. Oh, it's happening again. Look, look, it's a mouthwater. It's a mouthwater. I can see why that would burn the outside of someone's face because that is really bad up here. It tastes garlicky. It's really, that's super hot. I need something to like kind of cool that down with, I think. Um, oh. Please. I'm not bothered. I'd quench with something else, but the banana beer by Eagle Brewery, which was very, very nice indeed, is all gone. Uh, yeah, that's a nose waterer. If that deserves a place here, if I'm honest. That was the hottest out of all of them. The hottest one I've tried so far is definitely that regret sauce, but this, this is this is definitely, this is a close second, 100%. Slow on the uptake, catches you right in the feels. By feels, I mean all around here. What would that go into a mayo? Yes. Would it go into a salsa? Yes. Would it go into a chili? Yes. Mayo? Yes. Curry? No. Chili? Yes. Salsa? Yes. Good. That's coming in. Second. Um, I could do more stuff with that than I could with that. Flavour of that is better than that. The heat of that is more powerful than the ghost pepper, which was hotter than that. Was that just too confusing? Second, Dave's, and Dave's Gourmet Insanity Hot Sauce. And followed right to the back with, I don't know what you were thinking, Dr. Bernorium. Um, I've had better ghost pepper sauces than this. This was, in my opinion, not the best sauce. Ladies and gentlemen, we've now come to the end of episode seven. Sad face. Thanks again for everyone who's tuning in, sending me things and getting me to try new stuff. I can't thank you all enough. I really, really appreciate it. I've got lots of content coming up. I've actually got some really, really cool challenges coming up. You've probably seen it on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook that I've uh, been sent some instant regret lollipops, which I'm really looking forward to. It's all gonna keep coming. Thank you so much for everybody who's sending everything. We're well over 100 subscribers now. Please keep them coming. Share, share, share. Like it, like it. Subscribe. Um, uh, look forward to Monday Madness. See you later.